so guys uh, welcome back to my channel in our previous lecture we discussed about what is winap driver what are the prerequisite to learn winap driver and how to configure winap driver in this lecture we are going to discuss about how to create a sample maven project then adding the required dependency to automate the desktop application using winap driver how to launch the calculator desktop application by manually running the winap driver then we will be discussing about how to configure locator inspector for desktop application and later on we will be discussing on how to locate the element using the inspector so let us now move to the intellij so in my case i am going to use intellij as the code editor so i have created one maven project uh, but i can tell you like how to create new maven project so you need to click on file then need need to click on new and then click on project wherein you need to provide the project name whatever you are looking for then you need to select language as java as we are going to write the code in java and uh, later on you need to select the build system as maven as we are going to create the maven based uh, project so once you uh, uh, click on create you will have this uh, kind of structure you will have pom.xml so in order to interact with the desktop applications using winap driver we need only one dependency which is this apm java client i am going to use 7.3.0 version this is selenium 3 based uh, dependency so please uh, use this one for selenium 4 based uh, uh, winap driver interaction for desktop application i'll be covering in later sessions in future i'll be providing this dependency in the description section now i am expanding the src and then i'm i'm expanding the test and uh, navigating to java driver manager so i have created one class standalone driver wherein i have created one main method so we need desired capabilities first of all and then what we need to do we need to define um, three uh, desired capability the first of all the first capability is app which is the location of exe and then we need to provide the platform name which is windows and then we need to provide the device name which is again windows pc so if you look at it now i have created windows driver this windows driver is nothing but it is coming from the apm java java client if you look at it but whichever the dependency we have downloaded we have created instance of it meaning we are creating the driver of it and then we have now created object out of it new windows driver which requires a url where the winapp driver is running okay so in in our case we are going to run it manually and in later sessions we are going to cover how to run the winapp driver programmatically so if you look at it this is the syntax of how to create the object of windows driver so we need to provide the url where the winapp driver is located and then we need to pass the capability so that winapp driver understand like with these capability i need to uh, run the application so now i am navigating to the location where my winapp uh, driver is installed as uh, in, in as discussed in the lecture one okay so this is the location where the winapp driver got installed after downloading so we need to click on this winapp driver if you look at it it is it it started uh, the server got started and it is listening to this particular port 127.0.0.1 colon 4723 which means it is listening at local host and the port number is 4723 so i'm going back to the project again if you look at it so what we are uh, doing is we are again pointing to the same url meaning we are pointing to the winapp driver server so uh, as per agenda we were going to cover kelsey but kelsey is having some issues it will be uh, done with the via different methods so i'm going to launch the desktop application and if you look at this uh, driver.manage.window.maximize this is something related to selenium wherein we maximize the selenium window uh, browser window i mean after launching the browser window through the windows this web driver i mean okay so similar control will work here as well so what i'm going to do not right now i'm just uh, going to run this so you will see one notepad application will get launched and uh, later on it will be maximized because we have written that control as well so if you look at it one application got launched and uh, it got maximized as well 
Thank you. So now we are going to discuss about uh, how to configure or download the inspector to locate the desktop based applications locators. So this is the URL where you need to navigate. I'll be providing this into the description. So you need to uh, then click on this download the installer. After downloading it, you will have to install it. Once after installation, you need to navigate to the location uh, where this exists. So I'm now navigating to the location. So I'm going to this PC, I'm going to C drive and program files 86. After installation of it, you will start seeing Windows kits and then you need to click on 10 you need to click on bin and then after you need to click on any of these um, for example i'm going to click this one and uh, you need to then click on x86 and here you will see inspect okay so after you double click on this inspect you will start seeing uh, this particular inspector now i'm opening the notepad okay so clicking on clicking back so this is the home page of notepad so what i'm trying to do i'm now trying to locate the element of settings so if you note uh, the locator strategy is name and locator value is settings okay so this is uh, how we are able to locate the elements similarly xpath also works so i have uh, used uh, this particular uh, uh, locator in in my code so now i'm navigating back to the code i'm minimizing this and uh, then after I'm, I'm closing this desktop application as well and uh, now what i'm doing i'm going to launch this uh, particular application using the winup driver so if you look at it i have already used uh, this uh, driver.find element by dot name settings so it will first launch the notepad uh, using the winup driver and then after it will maximize it uh, as last time um, and then it will click on settings if you observe it has already clicked on settings so uh, this is on how to configure and inspect uh, the locators so we can use various options such as we can use highlight of how to locate the elements so you need to click on this refresh icon as well if you will highlight it will show in the structure as well so using this structure we can form the xpath this is dom like structure which is going to help us okay so but we can uh, for example if we navigate here so we get the get it by name as well we can form uh, the locator using any of the attributes and we can find xpath using any of the attributes so for example double slash star uh, at the rate name equal to settings so this is how we can form the xpath and it will work so yeah that is uh, pretty much on it thank you